See how this flower is colorful while everything else is black and white? I am looking for a way to create a Photoshop style mask like this one in your presentation but not using Photoshop? This is what you are going to learn on this video and we are starting right now. Hello professionals! And here is Diogo Rodão with another trick to enhance your skill set when preparing your outstanding presentations. In today's class, you will learn how to create masks in PowerPoint to behave on a very similar way that you could do in Photoshop. Of course, we can't compare how powerful Photoshop is in terms of managing graphical arts. But for those who are not familiar with Photoshop, don't have time and money necessary to start learning it, and just want a quick win on PowerPoint to make your result a little more professional, then this class here is for you. To achieve these results, you must know where and how to manipulate some PowerPoint elements. In this class, you will learn about how to create your mask-like layer, how to manipulate colors on layer left. Ready to start? Let's see the screen. All right, guys, so this is the flower that you guys saw in the beginning. And if I click here on the selection pane, see, I have a mask. But how did I create a mask in PowerPoint? Let's see. So first, guys, as this is not Photoshop and uh, you can't navigate as easy as you could in Photoshop, enhance the image until you see your object right on the center using as much area as you can. And why is that? Because once you start dragging the path, you will not be able to move this, this screen around. So this is a PowerPoint limitation that uh, Photoshop doesn't have. So that uh, pen, you know, that, uh, that hand tool, the hand tool doesn't exist in, in PowerPoint. So, all right guys, I got the image here right on the center. Now let's click on insert, click on shape, and click on this element here, freeform shape. This element is also down here on underlines, the almost the last one. So click on it, click on any very clear linear area and uh, start dragging. In my case, I barely see the, the area that I'm creating, but it's fine. So see how I am cutting the, the edge and I'm going to the middle. I'm going to explain you right in a minute why I'm doing that. Now I'm going to speed this up and come back to you once the basic layer is selected. Alright guys, see how I, I'm reaching close to where I began and see how Photoshop is suggesting me, which is my, my mask. So now click on where it is suggesting to close the path and here you got your mask. Two things should be in your mind when creating this path. First, avoid as much as you can to do double click, to click fast, you know, to create the dots fast. Why is that? If PowerPoint understands that you did a double click, it will close the path and you're gonna lose all your job. So be very careful in not doing double click, not clicking too fast, all right? The second thing to keep in mind, you must see the screen. When placing your dots, you don't need to place dots all along the edge of the, the element of the mask, and that this same tip also applies to Photoshop. In the majority of the case, one at the beginning, one at the end, and one or two at the middle. Because this one at the middle, you can play with it. And see, this is just like Photoshop. You can do the same here in PowerPoint. You can play with the angle. And this way, you can get a lot better result in defining the area of your mask. All right? Now, why I cut these edges here? Because I can come to these levels here and adjust the angle, see? Just like it. And this way, I can get this angle cut in a lot more professional way. Like this here. See this guy here? This guy, I put the dot here. Although the edge is there, see? The dot was also there, making one, one sharp edge. And I don't want a sharp edge. So what I will do here, I will delete this point and I will play with these levels here to make my cut to be professional like this, all right? One final thing for you to have with the impression that this is a mask. Here on, on format and shape fill, 
click here on more fill and uh, enhance the distance parsing to let's say 80%. Make sure that uh, you are filling up with a darker column. Let's put here 70 for you to, to see that uh, there is a layer over it. And the outline, you can make it softer like this, don't need to be that, that thick. Now I can see that uh, I have a shape, see? Now let's speed this up and make this shape better. Alright guys, all the edges are professionally aligned. So now let's uh, revert the zoom back to 100 or feature my screen, whatever. Now we have this element here on top of my flower. So far so good, right? But it's not a, a mask yet. So how to now make this new element behave like a mask? Let's see the screen. Let's click on this shape. And if you don't have this pane appear on your screen, come here to format and choose this option, select pane, enable it. Then you're, then you're gonna see this pane that uh, allow you to click on every element that uh, exists here. So click on this shape that you just created, click here in shape fill and choose picture. Choose from file, navigate to where the picture is, see my picture here, and do insert. It will fill the area with the whole picture. So don't get into despair, it is normal. <laughs> now click here on format, click in crop, and on this little white dot beside this black bar, click on the dot and drag it all the way until the end of the screen. Click on the other dot, drag all the way until the end. Click on the upper dot, again drag. On the bottom dot, again drag. As this image is just like the image that was behind here, it will position itself right into the area where you are cropping because you are cropping like a vice versa you are you are cropping not from from the edges to inside you are not cropping the opposite from inside to the edge so you are creating a mask with the crop very nice no once we're done with cropping just click outside anywhere and your free shape is here so far you only see this black line right so let's click on it Let's make sure that we have no outline for that image. And then let's do it again. Now we only see a small deviation where the flower is positioned. So let's just move one to the right and one to the bottom. Let's move one up again. And see, the image is, is pretty much at the, same, at the same position. Now we can click, right click on the image that's on the background, choose here format picture. We click here on this, on this fourth button, picture. We go here to picture color. And in recolor, we have several presets to use. Let's use the black and white one. And voila, you have your mask. See this other graphic here? Can you believe that it was created entirely in PowerPoint? Wondering how to do it? This will be my next video. How to produce a professional introduction slide in PowerPoint. Aren't you a subscriber yet? By subscribing to my channel, you will give me a tremendous help in growing it and allowing me to keep posting videos like this very one here. Also, please don't forget my like. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you on next week.